Oh no. Hello? Is this quick, Steve? Uh, yeah. We need you to come out of retirement for one last batch of cream. What are you talking about? I already worked there six days a week making candy. We're dangerously low on assorted chocolates. It's a matter of national security. Yeah, I know. That's what we talked about it yesterday. That's why I'm coming in today. What's it going to take to get you to come out of retirement for one last batch? Hmm. Retirement? <laughs> I didn't know I retired. Would a bucket of beer work for you? Well, if you're offering, okay. Fine. Two buckets of beer. You drive a hard bargain. You came in! <sighs> yep, every day, every day, yep, yep. Today. We're making a 36 pound batch. This is that's about as big as I can make it in the um, in the cream beater. Cream beater. And for anyone wondering, can you explain the cold water? The cold water, for some reason, uh, helps so that the uh, candy doesn't stick to your hands. Because hmm. as you can see, I don't really have anything stuck to them. My hands are pretty. Yeah. Pretty clean. As long as that's cold and the water's cold, you're good. Mm -hmm. And I know people always ask why not a ladle or something. And then I have to clean it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you try to do it a ladle. It's so much worse. It's, it's so awkward. It's, everything sticks to it. You can't even scoop as much yeah, as your hands it's, either. It's much better to do it like this. It's yeah. quicker, it's easier. And people always wonder too why we don't pour, but I think when we say syrup, they think of maple syrup. Yeah. But as you can tell, you couldn't do this with you maple couldn't, syrup. <laughs> yeah, plus you couldn't <laughs> control, you couldn't stop it when you wanted it to. No. It would just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how your dad taught you, right? Yeah. What we did. There we go. So only 24 pounds of sugar, right? 24 pounds. That's all. So it's healthy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything under 30 pounds of sugar is healthy. That's what my dentist told me. <laughs> yep. I go in for weekly visits. That's normal, right? Yeah. Weekly? Yeah, he loves me. <laughs> Sam is only patient. That's, that's about 75 pounds. Yeah. The kettle and the candy. Mm hmm. That's <laughs> my strong dad. <laughs> that's why I'm Hercules. <laughs> I didn't even spill on it. Wow. Do you fill that one? Do you usually fill it like just a little bit less than two quarts just so you don't spill it? Yeah, it's it's two quarts, and then I because this is a bigger batch than I originally used to do thirty to thirty two pounds, mm -hmm. so I always put in a little little extra. I, I showed the proof. I don't know if he does or not, but mm -hmm. so this will make two two flavors we're making out of this one. Then I'll make another batch and make two more flavors. So four different flavors today. Yep. You excited? I am excited. I'm psyched now. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear it go on. See it underneath there. And then you said you're getting it up to 240? 240. 240. Takes 20 minutes to get to boil, which is 212. And then uh, after that, five, six minutes or so, get to 240. I wonder what Tyler's going to wear today. Tie-dye? Maybe. Tie-dye Tyler? Yep. Could be.
he often wears his Hercules uh, tie dye on Saturdays. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes Carrie does too. So then there's three of us. That's just mad. Wow. Can you guys see, even see anybody? No. <laughs> and probably anybody coming here thinks it's the uniform. Yeah. Everyone's just wearing Terry Flash. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it's just water. But, uh, it's very, very sweet water. Pretty sure, yeah. Very, very hot, very sweet water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically it's sugar water. Yeah. Well, we got so wiped out for Christmas, we never, ever recovered. Because mm -hmm. in normal candy operations, January is a slow month that you catch up. Mm -hmm. But we don't really have slow months anymore. <laughs> maybe, maybe July, mm -hmm. August, but... If a video this, doesn't go viral. Yeah, this isn't <laughs> July or August, so... If we would maybe stop making it so good, then that might Yeah, that just makes some bad candy. Yes. We'll lose all our customers. Exactly. <laughs> and then if we lose enough that we can keep up, we'll start making good candy again. Or we could just move back to the basement. Yeah. Do you have space for us? Uh, yeah, as long as you guys can work around the laundry stuff. Washing oh, machine, yeah. dryer. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks anyway. We got a whole washing machine and a whole dryer down there now. No, actually, it's not allowed down there for a candy machine yeah. operation. Yeah. <laughs> Because I think we had one like in 1985, and the, back then the health inspector said, get rid of it. Even, I mean, we kept it all covered up, mm -hmm. and we didn't use it during candy making time, but they're like, nope, it's got to go. Mm. All right. <laughs> I'm going to the laundry mat. I want to, but I will. Anyhow, that was a bad flashback. Yeah. You now you guys have your own washing machine jar in your house. Yes, we don't even have to go outside to use the laundry. It's great. Or the washboard. Right, because we don't have a river and a rock, so it's just yeah. as well. We're just going to run for about how long? Uh, approximately 20, 25 minutes. 20 minutes later. This is a, the exciting part. <laughs> this is riveting, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh boy, it's like a, like a car chase. <laughs> Just an adrenaline fueled thrill ride. Uh, yeah. How, so what's your uh, best tips for people trying to contain their excitement when they're using their cream beaters at home? Just contain it because there'll be more times. Yeah, because the whole <laughs> thing is exciting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how did you guys used to do steps? I know Growing up, you said that you guys just used that marble table and you you and your dad would just push it back and forth instead of using this? Yeah. For a couple hours? Yeah, we, we would have we would have something like this, like a, a hole though that was straight, mm -hmm. just like this. And then we put it on the table when the, after you poured the cream on there, and we'd go back and forth across the table this way and then across the table this way across the, for almost two hours. Yeah. And you couldn't stop. Yeah. It, that was a... Uh, couldn't stop her. We did 75 pound batches though. Oh, whoa. How'd you guys keep it from, do you just, just use those metal bars to make sure it didn't fall off yeah, the table? Yeah, we had metal bars on the table so when we poured it in there like this, pour, you know, when we pour it in here, mm -hmm. the metal bars kept it back. Mm -hmm. And then you waited 25, 30 minutes and then you started to uh, use the hose on them. Mm -hmm. That was, that was hard work. Yeah, I can imagine. But, this is better having this. Yeah. And you got this when? <laughs> In the uh, 80s. Yeah. <laughs> this is an old one. It was old when I got it. It's still, yeah. the thing is, it's old, but it's easy to fix. Yeah. There's, there's no computer parts. parts. There's yeah. no, it's just a little motor and some pulleys. Mm -hmm. And it's easy. But is it just called a cream beater? Yep, cream beater. Yeah. Made in Rochester, New York, not that far away from here. Yeah, this is a. Uh, everybody tells me that knows about cream beaters. I've talked to candy makers, and they say, "Yeah, this was a special made one because hmm. they don't usually have two foot uh, cream beaters. They're usually four foot." Oh wow! So it's usually bigger than this. Yeah. Hmm. Which is probably good that you got a small one though, because downstairs in the basement, you wouldn't be able to fit. Yeah. A yeah. bigger one. This was. I think this was my first little machine I ever got. Mm -hmm. How much was it? It might have been free because uh, Miss Ronsville was her name down city mm -hmm. in Syracuse on Cannon Street, and uh, she was. They were uh, 
selling her equipment, she had she had melters and this here. And nobody wanted this. Mm -hmm. They wanted the melters, mm -hmm. and I thought this would be great to help me. Oh yeah. And so they were really nice about it. And I said, oh, if you want to just take it, if you can, if you can get it, because it's super heavy." Mm. <laughs> so how'd you move it out of there? Uh, I had your uncle Pat and a couple of his employees come over and help me move it. <laughs> then we moved it down the stairs to the old place. Yeah. That was hard. Yeah, even moving it, you know, up out moving of Moving it out too. of here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was hard too. And then into here, yeah. This is heavy. Yeah. It's all iron. <laughs> and we're getting another dozen trees just like this now. Yeah. So we can make more cherry, very cherry creams. <laughs> Because they're so popular. Yeah. And our assorted chocolates are hard to keep up with now, too, so. Yeah. That'll help that way, too. Yeah, the last thing we need is to run out of assorted chocolates by Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's is all assorted chocolates. Yeah, yeah, because Christmas really wiped us out. Yeah. And we're still trying to recover because we're even though Christmas is over, people are still ordering candy. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, it's awesome. I'm yeah. so lucky that we're We're so not busy. complaining. No, we're not <laughs> complaining. <laughs> I still take Sundays off. That's so. good. Yeah, we're trying to get you out of here by four so you can watch uh, the, the playoff game the today. The playoff games, yeah. Who's playing? The NFL. Cincinnati and the Titans. Hmm. Uh, four, four thirty, I think, and then uh, I forgot the next game. <laughs> but they're really good playoff games. Yeah. Oh yeah, so not that long. Yeah. So do you have to press your hand in a certain spot? Yeah, if I press in the middle, sometimes the middle will come out better. Because sometimes, for some reason, it, see it's a little bit, a little bit off, but. Sometimes the holes aren't quite right, but that, that worked out pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yep. It's better than I would do. <laughs> and your dad is the one who taught you how to do this? Yeah. And did his dad, his dad teach him how to do it? Yep. <laughs> this is very exciting. Yeah, this whole process. One, uh, <laughs> two. Uh, Only two shots? Yep. Is that a strong flavor? Yeah, strong enough. Yeah. Once you start stirring around, then I'll, I'm sure I'll start really smelling oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little pink. A little pink? Yep. Or some pink smelling or tasting? A little pink taste. <laughs> a little, little pink taste? You got some raspberry coloring and pink <laughs> flavoring. Yeah, and then, you know, a little pink taste. <laughs> Isn't that how it works? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can, I can smell it now. It's not a super strong one. It's not like peppermint. Or yeah. cinnamon. Even like mango the other day, I could really smell that. that smells amazing. But it smells good though. Yeah. Yeah, some some smells are just stronger than others. I don't know if it's like the smell itself or the strength of the shots. I don't know. Some peppermint flavors and you know spearmint, they're all they're all much sharper in flavor. I don't know. It's all gonna come out at once. There you go. That's enough. Is that too much? That's enough. No, everybody's going to know how to do cranberry. <laughs> See, look at that color. That's plenty. Mm -hmm. It does look really cool when it's getting mixed in. It's like marble right now. Yeah. Too bad you can't stay that way, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be cool. But then they wouldn't, then they wouldn't even know because it would be the inside. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how many people just pop them in their mouth and how many people bite them in half. I yeah. feel like I would want to bite them in half because I'd like to see what the inside looks like with it color-wise. Yeah, stuff. we should ask that question. How many people just just eat it or how many people just bite it in half? Yeah, there's a decent amount of people who come out in our videos and tell us that they've tried our assorted chocolates. So I would like to know. Comment down below if you've tried ours, if you bite them in half. Or just if you've tried other chocolates in general. Do what you do you do, Tyler? Half? You bite them in half or you eat them? Just eat them. Just eat them. Tyler, I eat them. you barbarian. <laughs> They're delicious. I'm, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm going to eat them. <laughs>
Whole funnel in the stick method, huh? Yep. Tried and true. It's the best. <laughs> Didn't you guys say those candy funnels are actually like really expensive? Yeah. <laughs> they are. <laughs> it's a funnel with a handle. Like 270 <laughs> bucks or something. I wonder if someone could fabricate them for cheaper. Oh, I mean, I'm sure they could. Oh, but. yeah. I could probably have them made cheaper. <laughs> Did you say it's been a couple weeks since you've done this? Yeah. It's mostly been Cooper and a little bit of Brian doing this, right? Yeah, I just made the. Uh, very cherry creams the other last week. Mm. Two batches. We cannot keep those in stock. So that's why we're getting more cornstarch and more of the Tra starch trays, right? Yeah, right, yeah. So we can do three batches at a time. That'll take all day. when they first started doing assorted chocolates um, for for our company anyway and I don't really know I'm sure he learned it from the Boston candy kitchen in yeah. Boston before he opened up mm -hmm. that's where he worked and then him and his two brothers opened up their own place you're talking about Robert Andriana yeah the so that's my, my great your great great father great Great grandfather or great great grandfather? Great grandfather. Great grandfather. So he's my grandfather. Oh, okay. Yeah, all this, uh, the press to make the assorted chocolates, and that's all my grandfather's. Oh. I wouldn't have this. You can't, you can't buy it anymore. No. No, no more. Yeah, someone uh, wanted to know what this thing was called the other day, and I just said starch press. Yep, the starch press. Yep. That's what it is. Yep, you can't buy them anymore. They're, it's an antique. Mm. Either you have it in your family or you don't. <laughs> Same thing with the funnel on the stick. <laughs> 275 bucks? Yeah. This is the original. <laughs> this Came was, over on the boat, huh? This is my grandfather's funnel. I got two of them. Yeah. They're great. The new ones, though, yeah. They're, they're good too, but they don't make them like they used to. It's just kind of ridiculous. I think <laughs> two hundred and seventy-five dollars. Yeah. Kind of crazy. Blue raspberry. Wow, it's a big old jug. It's blue. <laughs> For blue raspberry? Wow. I thought it was gonna be green. Feels what I know. One ounce, two ounces. Yeah. So no coloring necessary for this one, just because the flavoring's so blue. Yeah. Mm. Taste the blue. It tastes in every bite. Taste the blue. <laughs> wow. Look at that. They're so cool. It's kind of a strange color for creams, too. <laughs> for me anyway. I yeah. don't know about anybody else. But. I love when you guys do it for the cream eggs. Yeah, that's still a strange color <laughs> for food, you know. Yeah. I don't know any other food. Even blueberries aren't that vibrant. You have to get it to what temperature? Well, 140 to 150. And if you pour it when it's too hot or too cold, what happens? If you pour it uh, not warm enough, not hot enough, then the creams will be too soft and by the time you get them out to chocolate cover them they'll be all flattened out if you, and if you cut it if you do it too hot then the creams will be hard as a marble <laughs> it's ready to go now and 
that's really blue. Man, I can't get over the color. Hmm. Have you not done the blue raspberry in a long time? I haven't done the blue raspberry before. Oh, I've yeah? done it in hard candy, but uh, not in the creams. Now you get a rhythm going. Yeah, it takes a minute. I'm moving it on you. <laughs> Forgot this thing's like on wheels. put everything on a wheel so it's easy to clean. Mm -hmm. Does it usually take? To do like a half batch. In a half batch, about four to five trays. How, how many uh, funnels does it take, though? Well, oh. Like how many times do you have to go back and forth? Do you think? Oh, I don't know. I never counted that. <laughs> Not too much more, because it's like most of a tray for per funnel, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like six That's or seven close. times or something. Funnel and a funnel and a quarter, maybe for. Something like that. Ooh, that's a close one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I know people always ask if there's been any disasters or anything, or like any anything got spilled when doing uh, these. Occasionally, but not not very much. Like when they're all done, or when you're making them. Well, oh, you mean the creams itself? Uh, uh, at during some the point. during creams, not too much. It's not, it's kind of hard to mess up. <laughs> Gotta try. Yeah. No hard candy, throwing it on the hook, that's different. Yeah. People have dropped that. Mm -hmm. Joe dropped that, and then uh, Brian dropped some Brian like a couple weeks ago. Dropped one, yeah. Well, usually people land pretty quick after they drop some. <sighs> yeah, usually that kind of stops it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, and even when Joe dropped some, he only dropped part of it, and we could use most of the batch. That's what Brian did, too. Oh, yeah. So yeah. We, instead it's of using it half and half or something, we used it as a stripe instead. Oh, yeah? <laughs> we had enough to make a stripe. Mm -hmm. It just makes the batch go back quicker. Mm-hmm. If you drop some of it. Yeah. I found that too with uh, doing the dishes. If I just break <laughs> some of them, I'm done with dishes so much faster. <laughs> Oops. Oh no, how did that happen again? Yeah. Oh, oh, those are a little shallow. How'd that happen? I think they jumped out again.
Actually, that one funnel almost does a whole tray, but not quite. Not the same as last time. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what are we taking out? All right, blue raspberry. That half tray is going to a uh, dark chocolate. This is an interesting reach right there. That was not fun. <laughs> These are so blue. Pretty. I know, those look really nice. Sometimes it's hard to tell where the tails are in the cornstarch because like it's like a somewhat muted color, but like these blue <laughs> stick right up. <laughs> tails are everywhere, yeah. I gotta make sure I get them out. Do you guys do a lot of the blue raspberry? Um, I mean like I haven't done it that much, but at the same time, like we do, I think we probably do more like hard candy, in yeah, the raspberry than like the creams. But it's part of our sort of box, so if you get yourself one, you can you get yourself blue raspberry creams. They're really yummy. I've had them. The blue raspberry just looks very candy. appealing. Yeah, I think my favorite color is blue. So I mean, I'm a little, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm not the best biased. person to say, but yeah, I'm a little biased on that one. <laughs> That's but hard. blue is definitely my favorite color. I'm literally wearing all blue every single day of my life. This is true. <laughs> I can't be tied down to one color like that. Really? No. That's just not me. Brian, what are you waiting for? The tray. Fun. Me and Brian are in a race right now. I definitely have to hear more about that. Because right now I am taking the creams out that Steve dropped over the weekend. So they're taking up the cornstarch molds and Brian has cream in the beater right now. So he's making new creams. So he needs to change these uh, cream things that I'm taking out into molds so that he can drop those creams today. We're <laughs> it's a lot. So it's a race. Yep. You have to do three of them? Yep. Three in milk, one and a quarter in dark. Mm. It's always like a 75-25% split. It seems to be that milk is a little bit more popular. I think but the people that like dark chocolate, like really, really like dark yeah, chocolate. That's true. Too, like, and that they true. might not even like milk chocolate, like they're only dark. Like. Like, if I saw that. something at the store that was dark chocolate, I don't think I'd jump to get it. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I still our, like sugar and all that stuff, and like cream and milk and all that is yummy, so I'm, I'm all, all for the milk. Yeah, me too. But like, I mean, I, I'll have some dark chocolate. Yeah. I don't mind it. Yeah, I test it all the time here at work, and it's not like I'm complaining. Yeah, see? <laughs> Only complain a little. <laughs> I have to eat all this dank chocolate. So you're gonna fit three trays into this one to do, bring them all at once, or are you gonna do just two now? Bring them all at once. All the dust. We gotta get going. I can't be dilly dally and taking tray at a time. I need to grab them all, get them all done. All at once. Give Brian the trays so he can actually do his job. <laughs> oh yeah, cause he's dropping today, isn't he? Yeah, he needs like that tray that I just pulled off and he needs to make that in here like as soon as I leave the room to get ready. <laughs> We're busy. <laughs> a busy day today, there's a lot going on. Yep. A busy day. At least a busier Monday is better than a slow Monday, I think. It goes by fast. Like every day here, honestly, I feel like I blink some days and it's over. I'm like, okay, time to go home and I'm freaking exhausted. <laughs> Where was that eight hours? I don't even know. Yeah, but that's a good thing. 100%. Yeah, I can't do jobs where I like have to like just sit there and... Like an office job? You yeah. wouldn't be an office job type of guy? I cannot do it. 
I, th I don't have like ADD or anything where it's like I have to, but like I get, I can't focus on like something that doesn't let me move around and do something yeah, with my I've, hands and all that stuff. My brain is not. I've never had anything that's really just had me sitting down, not doing it. Other than like my last job, like editing wise, like I would kind of sit and work remote, but. Um, <laughs> For a bit there in college, I was, uh, was an accounting um, intern over the summer at a, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just, that was not, that was not it. But hey, gotta try it sometimes to find out that it's not yeah. what you're looking for. Now what the people don't see is that the camera is now covered in it. Oh yeah, we're all covered in it, <laughs> everything. <laughs> Everything has porn star on it. But it's worth it. Yeah, because these are very Especially nice. for this. This is a really nice color. It is. Who made these? Steve. Steve did a great job. Good job, Steve. Drop test. We're in the enrobing room. You got, you're looking for a sound. This is a nice sound. You ready? So if it doesn't make a noise, it's too dry and it's no good. But that's, that's the sound. That's what you're looking for. Can we find one that doesn't have that sound? No, because they're all good. Oh yeah, Steve did. Steve did. That's why they're all good. I've had it on like a couple of occasions where it, it kind of like sounds like it's dried out, but I think in some ways it's good because these creams can be soft when they're like like not dried out really. Oh, and so then, you'll, you'll get a different sound because they're not done pretty much. Yeah, like they oh, need okay. to sit in the cornstarch a little bit more or they've right. sat in there for too long and stuff like that. Um, but it's just interesting because it's like the chocolate itself brings moisture back into it. So even if the cream itself is kind of dry, as soon as you enrobe it in chocolate, like it gets, it, like it somehow brings the moisture back into it. I don't really understand it. A lot of things at this job, I just kind of accept. <laughs> don't question. You're like, yeah, well, it is what it is. It's it's more work to question it for no reason than to just accept it. What's your favorite color, Cooper? That literally changes like every day. I don't. Oh, know. so you're not you're not sticking down to one color. I can't. I literally can't. It's like it's uh, lime green, orange, purple, pink. <laughs> really? All of them. Yeah, I love all. My of them. my two favorite colors are blue and purple. Purple's a great color. Yeah, blue and purple. Royalty. I heard that we had a little scare with the, that, that uh, what is it called, the shaker? The, yeah, the detailer. Something and, um, wasn't, something on this machine wasn't working. So, yeah, I was doing creams on Thursday. Thursday, I think Thursday, it was Thursday, yeah. Wednesday or Thursday. And, um, the belt was like, I don't know, I was like kind of noticing that the, the bottoms of it were like thicker and I was like going through the motions of trying to figure out what was the, like the cause of it. And I didn't really find anything and then like this weird noise started happening and you know, that's always a good thing. I was <laughs> yeah. like, oh, that sounds like that's supposed to be doing that. So I kind of like started to look a little bit more and I realized that like the detailer belt like wasn't even moving. And it had got like stretched out or something. Super weird, but thankfully we had two like spare ones laying around. Yeah. Cause if not, that would have been very awkward. We would have been like stopped in the middle of the day with like <laughs> no way to really fix it. Yeah, so how every single one of these has a tail. The other one it was just oh, coming out like, really helpful. Yeah, like a ball of like chocolate around it that was no like the bottoms were just so thick so you noticed that before you noticed that there was like a problem with yeah because i mean machine. like realistically you're kind of looking at how it runs through to see like what you need to do with a lot of things on here it's like a million and one little things that you can kind of tamper with and change just a little bit to make yeah. it run through easier like there's levels there's different belts there's like all these speeds and stuff you change it to like the, it's at 25 right now, but 27 could be better. Like you need to literally like put some through, change the number, be like, mm, a little too much still and like bring it up or down and everything. It's like, 
could be a little fi finicky, but then it's like, I was just trying to play off of like, I didn't think anything was really wrong with it. Yeah. So I was just looking at the computer stuff, but then it was like an actual belt that just, I think it got like <laughs> pinched. It was weird looking, like stretched itself yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. So what he's talking about there is a belt that's underneath there that you can see. Um, I noticed through the day you could start to see it more and more. Yeah, it was like so. I was like, huh. down. I was like, is that supposed to be like that? And I didn't say anything because I was like, well, I don't want to. Like, say. what do I know? I'm new. Yeah, here. I was like, what am I gonna say? I'm like, yeah, yeah. that doesn't look right. And they're like, yeah, well, it's always been like that. I don't want to say anything. So I was like, all right, it's fine. Yeah. And then I came back and it was really hanging. And he's like, something's wrong. And I was like, uh, I think there's maybe that belt might be something. Yeah. Something's but, up with that. We fixed no. it. Cranberry, yeah. back at it again. Let me help myself. All these creams. Yeah. Your hat's pink today, so it's like it goes actually the it's actually like almost the same color. Is it? Yeah, it's like really, really close. <laughs> it was all on purpose, planned. Yeah, it. you knew. Yep. I didn't yeah, color yeah. these creams, but I planned my hat accordingly. <laughs> I knew Steve was gonna do it on that shade. <laughs> like he's feeling like that today. Oh yeah, Steve made these ones too. Yep, yeah. Steve dropped all these creams over the weekend. Ooh. So we're uh, doing our best to try and kind of uh, stay amp ahead. Up the production for creams, because we uh, are having a little trouble with the assorted boxes and keeping them in stock. So. Is there a way to, when you make them, like, not to have the tails, or is it just, like, pretty much you get that no matter what? It's pretty hard to avoid it. It has to do with how you drop it. Like, if you, like, pull up the funnel when you're moving, there's, like, less of a chance that there's a tail. If you drop it cold, then, like, the cream is definitely a little bit thicker, and you get bigger tails when you drop it cold. If you drop it warmer, you have a little bit less chance of getting tails. Yeah, because, like, these are very light. Yeah. Like the, so they'll just break right off. But. Definitely. Some of the some tails are a little bit thicker, and you yeah. got to go through them beforehand and knock them off because they Let's, get stuck in the belt of the enrober. Like. Yeah, because I see you, like, when they're on the tray, like, like over here. Yeah. They, they, you have to kind of like break them off yourself before put them on the aerober. If they get dropped too cold, like I would say like, like that one right there is like a little thick and like for the most part, they always break those off and stuff. Yeah, but yeah. I think a lot of the tails end up falling off when we're just like shaking them around in the sifter, so. My timing is working out well today. I got the milk and rover going, mm. getting these done, and then the dark and rover is set, and I got my piping bag for the toppings for the cranberry. So when I'm done, oh, the, you have to the, do milk, the piping bag? Yeah, it's the piping bag. Oh. It gets a little uh, pink dot on top. Ooh. It used to be a, a pink C, but that took too long. One got ejected out. <laughs> Where'd it go? Into the bin down below that you can't see anything in? I think it might have landed on the floor. I saw one go, go flying. You guys have been doing a lot of the creams. Oh. We're a cream pack. That's what it feels like. And rubbing the milk chocolate. Yep. And we were saying how this uh, the sound in here can get a little bit obnoxious for you after a little while. It's just like a, it's very static, just like hum. I just like kind of block it out after a while, but at the same time, as soon as you leave this room, you're like, whoa, <laughs> it's so quiet out here. There's no weird humming or yeah, in this room, we usually uh, have to have him hooked up to a mic just because it is, there's so much background noise. Yeah, it, and I, I don't know, I'm probably am not the, the greatest at enunciating my words through a mask and all that stuff too, so like that on top of all the weird 
static background noise and stuff is a tough room to film in. Yeah, it definitely is. I've never been a loud person, so. Me neither, yeah. So, me neither. <laughs> yeah, so it's tough to try to speak up. And having the mask on at the same time, so it's like I'm already muffled. Double muffled. Yeah, double muffled. I already mumble, and then the mask yeah. makes it sound like I'm mumbling, so yeah. it's like it's a, a mumble of a mumble. Try yeah. to understand that. It's tough. I do my best, though. I was always saying that every time you guys get out of the room taking the creams out, you literally look like you have gray hair. <laughs> Mostly Brian, but... <laughs> For real? Brian gets... Yeah, covered. I think he just likes it. Like, he likes to get covered in cornstarch. He just kind of <laughs> submits to it. I do my best to, like, not get covered, but if it happens, it happens. No, you don't look... You don't... But then, I think Brian, Brian just goes in there, he just, like, grabs it, he, like, puts it on the <laughs> he's like, oh, like, let's go. We're going to see him one day just sitting in the whole bin. <laughs> just, like, having a moment. Brian, you good? He's like, I'm fine, man. I'm more than okay. Do you guys do a lot of stuff with the, like... What do you call this? Tubing or piping? Like piping? Yeah, like a not really. We try our best to like stay away from it because it's so time consuming. I was gonna say the artist in you can come out if you did a lot more of this. Like if you were able to do designs and stuff. Yeah, I mean for the amaretto creams we have to pipe an A. Oh really? So yeah, it's like this. And you just like do that on every cream. <laughs> How long does that take you? Those are the worst. Those take a while. I don't even know. Kind of just like zone out. I don't look at the clock and just kind of just get it done. <laughs> a long time though, like way longer than other creams would. Oh, you have to do it on a cream that A? Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's smaller than that usually? It's about that. It goes like, it would be like boom, boom, and then like over. So it like you drape it over the cream. Oh, nice. Just ridiculous. When's the last time you've done those? Uh, like a month ago. This used to be a C. I used to have to like, or I I never had to. It was a, a dot before I got here, but they used to pipe like a C on top of all these mm. for cranberry. All right, what are we cutting into? A dark cranberry cream. Mmm. Oh, that's nice right there. All right, dark chocolate. Cheers. What are we thinking on the Cooper scale? I'm having so much trouble. It reminded me of something like initially when I ate it and I'm like, where to go? I can't place what it reminds me of, but dark chocolate's obviously nice because the cranberry cream is like very sweet. Yeah. It kind of brings it down a little bit. It's delicious. <laughs> and then we have to also try the, which one are we trying? The blue raspberry? Oh, blue raspberry? Yeah, let's we could, go. We got blue raspberry and milk right now. We could. Yeah, okay. let's go. Let's get that one. All right. This looked really fun, like colored blue when we were doing it. Yeah. We were it, so I... Still very fun. That looks amazing. I'm excited. All right, let's try this one. Cheers for the Cheers. other. Cheers to the next. That's good. That's good. <laughs> That's good. If you had to rate them now, what are we what are we doing? Raspberries at a what out of ten? Blueberries what out of ten? Oh, it's crazy! It's like chocolate covered, like cotton candy. Honestly, is what it tastes like to me. It's very yummy. Oh, so that's um, got to be almost a ten. Yeah, that's a ten. And then the cranberries <laughs> like good, but like I like milk chocolate a lot better than dark chocolate. So too much going on. Ten well, out of ten. Ten out of ten.